Okay, so the first thing we want to show here is the true copy paste application and how it works in SharePoint. It works obviously in SharePoint uh, Office 365 and on-premise SharePoint as well. Um, it is very easy to install. All you have to do is go to the SharePoint store and add it. So let's see how we can do that real quick. Okay, so to get to the SharePoint store, we are going to click on the gear icon at the top right here and click on uh, site content. And here you'll see um, add an app. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And on the left side, you're gonna see SharePoint store. You're gonna click on that one as well. And here is where uh, you're gonna do a search. And let's do a quick search here for the word TRU. Okay, and here it is, our app. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And you can see that it's already added, but the idea is here you'll see the Add It button. You're gonna click on Add It and trust it, and it's gonna go ahead and install. Once it's installed, um, you will see here under recent that it is already installed, right? It's just gonna say congratulations. Now you will be able to see this in the ribbon, um, which is uh, the copy and paste option in the ribbon for the document libraries that you select. So let's see how that works. Okay, so going back into some document library that we have here. So I have a document library with some folders um, you'll see at the top here the files and library section. Um, if you click on that, you're going to see, uh, if you click on files, you're going to see copy and paste. Uh, th those options only show up for the document libraries. They will not show up for uh, regular, li regular lists. So we are going to go ahead and, you know, here we have a list of projects. Um, and what we can do here is we can um, select a folder or a file. Uh, here we have a project template, and inside the project template here we have design document, project plan, and scope of work. And the idea here is that, you know, as we provision new projects in this folder kind of structure, obviously we can select that and, and clone it as, uh, as a different project, uh, you know, with, with all the files that we need uh, pre-populated. So let's see how that works. So file, we're going to go ahead and copy. It's just gonna say that it copied. We're gonna hit okay. And then in the same location, we're gonna go ahead and hit paste. And then here are some options. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit just so you can see uh, I'm on a very tight uh, recording screen. But what you see here is uh, the option uh, to go ahead and paste. So when you paste this, you can paste it as uh, PDF, as zip, or you can download it directly um, and when you paste it, you have the option of deleting the source or overriding existing files. Um, we're going to go ahead and paste it uh, directly here without making any changes. We just want to recreate that structure. And here it is. It's uh, telling us that the items have been pasted. Okay. And here is actually a report that shows you if there's a lot of items in here, what got copied. And if there's any issues, it will show you the items with the issues as well. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. And you'll see here now automatically it appended, it created the new um, folder and it added copy of project template, okay? And if we open that, you should see as you expect the different content and folders that were inside that uh, content. Even if you had files in here, that would uh, copy the files as well. Um, okay, so let's navigate back up here and uh, just rename that to the maybe uh, you know a real project name that we would have so we're going to edit the properties of the folder and we're going to call this new las vegas hotel okay um, we're going to go ahead and save that And here you see now we have our new project created. Okay, so it's really as easy as that to copy content. Now obviously we can do that with regular files and we're gonna show you uh, now just a couple of 
things, other tricks that you can do with a copy and paste um, that can come in very handy uh, for the end user and make them very productive. Okay, so now we have a design template file, actually just one word file in here. And what we want to do is we want to take that and actually put it inside the project template. You know, we maybe accidentally have placed it here and we just want to put it under the folder project template. So what we're going to do is go to file, copy, and then we're going to go to our destination here and we're going to put it inside of the uh, design documents and files, paste, and then here we just want to paste the design document that we have and we are going to paste it just as is um, and there we go, paste. Okay, and it pasted here. We're going to go ahead and close that and you'll see here our design document got carried over just as we expected. And just a quick note here, it is possible to actually copy documents from uh, one fo from one library to another library and also from one site to another site as well. So you can copy and paste across sites and libraries. Okay, now let's assume we have a scenario where the uh, document or the project has completed and we really don't want it to be taken up that much space here anymore but we want to archive it. So what do we do? Uh, we can actually go ahead and zip one of those projects into a zip file just for archiving purposes. So how does that work? We are going to uh, select the design, uh, sorry, the design uh, project here altogether, which is here, the Las Vegas uh, hotel. And we are gonna go ahead and copy that folder and we're going to create a new folder here called archive and then we are going to paste actually let's go into archives right now and paste and before we paste actually we're just going to select the what we want to archive here and we are going to save as zip and we're going to give this file uh, name. We're going to call it Las Vegas Project Hotel Project. If you don't specify a name, it will use the default uh, folder name. So we're going to go ahead and paste, and and it's done. And if we open our folder here, you'll see the zip file, and obviously we can download it and here you go, it's archived, and we can go ahead and delete the old content. So now, assuming we want to uh, review, or maybe we have an existing zip file, we wanna kinda see what's in it, or maybe we wanna unzip it, one thing we can do here is also uh, click on the file, the zip file, and uh, click on extract, and this will extract the contents of the file. It'll show you here the content, but in our case, I think we have picked a file as a file that does not have, um, that does not have uh, much in it. So, because there were only folders and no real files, so there was really not much to zip. But uh, we can do, let's do that to a regular document. Okay, so I just went in and added the file into the Las Vegas folder. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and re-zip that and overwrite this one. So we're going to paste, we're going to select the file here, we're going to say override existing file, which is the zip file, and we want to save it as zips, okay? And we're going to actually, um, you know, go uh, overwrite this file, so we're going to go ahead and paste, and Okay, so just a few seconds ago, it got updated, so it got overwritten. So here we go, we were able to overwrite some existing zip files, and now let's go see inside the zip file if we try to unzip it. 
you will see that this is the only document right now that's in there. There are other folders, but those are this is the document that is in there. And we can go ahead and extract that document to our folder here. And if we open it, you will see the design uh, template here that we copied in into the folder. Okay, some other things that we actually have access to right here, if we try to paste, uh, we can also have, we do have the option of uh, downloading uh, a zip file directly without even storing it in SharePoint. Maybe you want a local copy of it. Maybe you want to archive it uh, somewhere else outside of SharePoint to save space. And what you can do here is download as zip. Click on download. And this will let you then zip and download a zip file that contains the files that you that you need. Okay, we also have one more use case. Let's say we have a design document that has been completed and it is ready for uh, maybe production or sharing with a customer. Uh, how can we take this and kind of publish it maybe into a PDF and store it here. So we have the option of going here and clicking on paste and let's pick our uh, file here that we've been working with and we are going to go ahead and paste it as a PDF and we're going to go ahead and paste. Okay and uh, we are going to go ahead and see that we have now a PDF that just got created and if we open it as you would expect there is no PDF viewer on the computer but right here as you would see in the in the viewer uh, that the content has been created and this is pretty much in printable uh, format exactly as it appears in the Word document. This pretty much concludes the features and functionalities of the app um, and what it can do for you. It really is designed to empower the end user to be a lot more productive and be able to work with files uh, the same way they're used to working with them from a desktop. And uh, the best way to really to get started is to uh, go ahead and install it. It's a free app. And uh, once it's installed, you can, you know, play with it and if you have any questions or feedback, we are more than happy to um, uh, to listen to what you have to say. And of course, there is uh, you know the help button here. Um, feel free to always visit that to see if there's any updates or new content with the app as we continue to always make improvements on it. Okay, thank you for listening.